still have a party city and that the party city still sells balloons. Like, I was at Party City, like, last year, and first of all, they were selling Magic the Gathering cards, which was weird. I'm like, okay. Um, you know, it's, there's a whole other thing about that. But then, then they were like, it was still like an old woman, who you could tell had worked there for forever. And this single mom was all like, I need the eight balloons for my son. You know how it is down here. I know how it is. Yee. Yee. Um, let's see, uh, yeah, so it was so crazy, it was like back in, I was like back in 2003 again, but only like worse. It's like, we still have these like old stores in Fredericksburg, but they like, they die, and you know that they're like falling apart. Um, the, the liminal spaces of the liminal space games still exist IRL, but they are just like, they've lost their numinosity with their numina. Um, let's see, um, Put a boy right there. All I hear is clanking now. This clank. is the least ambient level ever. It's just clank. darkness. Clank, clank, clank. Another oh. one clanks the boss. Oh no. Clank, um. clank, clank. Oh, thank God, Blover. Okay. Another boy clanks the bus, and another boy clanks, and another boy clanks. Boy clanks. Another boy clank, clanks the clank. bus. Clanks and another boy clanks. Another boy clanks the clank. Oh, so like, yeah, so what the heck? So these uh, grocery stores, so we have a few like, you know, just like department stores, grocery stores, and like, um, just, like general like hobby stores, and even decor stores. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're a very, we're a very like, uh, what would you say, like a, like a shopping center town? Or, or no, shopping center city. We're a shopping center city. Um, oh wait. oh wait, hold up, shit. Okay, get him, get him, get him. Got him! Okay. So, we have a, we used to have a party city that would sell Magic the Gathering cards, and this happens a lot, where we'll get like, just like a random like, grocery store or decor store, we'll be selling like, like, non sequiturly Magic the Gathering cards. And I'll just be like, so like, confused, because I'm like, wow, that does not seem like it's up your alley. And then sure enough, like a few months go by, it, they don't sell them anymore. And I'm like, ah, they must have, they must have learned the hard way. That people coming to those stores were just like, what the fuck is this shit? I'm 40 years old. And I work for Geico. Get the shit out of my face. Get the shit out of my face. You no good hack. You no good hack. You no good hack. Or the dark side is like all the other all the other like like LGS stores in the area are just like out competing them, and they're like we're gonna sue you if you sell these. It's like oh no. No, I hate it when it's like um. I hate it when like, and I know they've got to get money. Like I understand it, but like why are they like almost sixty dollars? So that's like retail by and large, because even, it's not even at LGS's too, like it's also at like Target, at Walmart, uh, Magic the Gathering pre-cons are like 50, 52, um, but on Amazon they're 35, um, and it must just be, I don't know what the hell they're doing to package these things, but it must be the packaging, and, and the shipping and everything, and getting it from store to store, um, so, of course, Lord knows, maybe... Maybe it might be that that's the natural price, and then Jeff Bezos is what's it called when you lower a thing competitively scalping? I think um, so. Because uh, you know, for every piss in a bottle in the Amazon warehouse, a Magic the Gathering precon goes down five dollars. So I guess. <laughs> but it's so odd because it's like yeah. instead of letting people, you know, be able to afford something, I guess it's like. Let me gouge you with, like, prices. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, also, what do you want to do about lunch? Hey, guys, leave a comment down below. What should we do about lunch? What should we do about lunch? Do... Get, here, let me give the commenters some choices. Do we do Taco Bell? Do we do Burger King? Or do we do... Uh... 
miscellaneous. Like eating out of someone's ass. What's what's your favorite fast food? Get out of here. Let's get Burger King, bro. Let's like let's live it Burger up. Bang. Yeah, let's live it up. BK, have it your way. Yeah, let's stick it up her butt. No, no, no. This isn't Subway. You don't you don't do that. That, that happens at Subway. Let's stick it up our asses. Remember that girl who was eating shit from Subway? Ugh. Is she dead? I think so. <laughs> this is so bad, but I'll like, how do you recover? Me! Hey, welcome back to Plants. I'm your co-host, Zombie. I'm your co-ho-ass. I'm your co-ho butt liquor 9000, dude. Ooh, we need, like, snackies. We need some snackies. Yes, we do. Give me some snackies. Mm. We're gonna, we're gonna get them. We're gonna get them one day. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll starve you until I finish this episode. No. Made a huge interruption. Don't worry about that. Who's going to a Christmas market this year? Leave a comment down below if you're going to a Christmas market. So here's the thing. I don't know, like, you know how people are like, oh, the world looks so much bigger when you're like a kid or whatever. Um, I don't know, man. I think that's just when you're just unfamiliar with any environment because, like. So when I was in high school, my mom used to take me to these, um, I shit you not, I don't know what happened to the world between, like, 20, like, I don't know, like, 13, 15, and, like, now. So she used to take me up to Northern Virginia, and there was this thing straight up called, like, Christmas Market. It was, like, rooftop Christmas Market, or, like, Christmas Market in the Sky, where literally, like, the rooftops of, like, malls and buildings up on, like, Tyson's Corner would become like walkable like vendors have walkable vendor ability and i'm like those things are so cool and now i've never seen anything like that ever again so bizarre because you won't take us to them they don't do them they do too they do markets no 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 the, the the specifically markets in the sky like rooftop christmas markets in northern virginia like, those things are hella lit. Because you're just like... Because what's so funny is I'll just be, like, minding my own business going through the vendors, and they'll be, like, so cool. Um, and because it's Northern Virginia, you get people straight up off the boat from Germany being all like, Hallo, ich hab ein Kuchen. Um, and it's just, like, the best thing. And then... Um, but because you're on, like, the rooftop, and because, like, you know, everything's, like, you know, like a seven-story mall up there... Um, people will just randomly come off of escalators and get to the rooftop and then like they'll just be like because have you seen the target in springfield that's a two-story target target with a with an escalator is so bizarre i've never hung out in springfield more than like a few seconds to follow my mom to to her work at the pentagon yeah wow okay okay i don't jesus she doesn't work even there. I even I know you don't. She doesn't work there anymore. That's why I said it. Okay, so she can be a whistleblower. Cool. Um, but let's see. Um, yeah, no, and you're one of your your mom's one of those Fredericksburg types that is like Nova burnouts because that's what like a lot of Fredericksburg is pretty much like about. Is it people who are like, I fucking hate Northern Virginia. I'm gonna move down. <laughs> like basically, like Fredericksburg is just Nova white flight. So, oh, why? Drop, dropping these truth bombs, they can't respond. I'm looking at, I'm looking at clay stuff since we're not going to the market. Yo, yeah, that's right. You're planning on going to GameStop. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Um, we should make, we should, we should make our own Christmas market in Minecraft. Okay. Well, if you ever taught me how to freaking like <laughs> play Minecraft, yeah. Yo. If you ever taught me how to play Minecraft, maybe you know. Mm, exactly. Leave a comment down below if you want me to um... do a video where he shows me how to play Minecraft. Well, that too, but also like do like Minecraft Christmas edition. Welcome to my Minecraft Christmas special. Uh, it's literally no different, but I'm playing Minecraft, and it's December. 
And my boobies are out. Nice. Uh, they should be in my mouth. So, <laughs> work on that. Okay. Yeah. I'm over. You know what? I feel like most people don't should should get like their loved ones in like their little Christmas stockings. What? Chapstick. You know, it's so funny because chapstick is definitely something that you're always in need of, and it's it's a nice like just like dollar store kind of gift to get. But man, is it like easy to lose? Like, I would lose chapstick so fast. That's because you don't look at it, but... I'm holding out for a hero. Till the end. And he's gotta be tough, and he's gotta be tough. <laughs> um... Man, it's weird that that's like... There's like three different songs in our culture now that say like, I need a hero. I need a weirdo. I'm holding there's, out. There's Nickelback. There is Skillet, oh, and then there's that song oh, from Shrek. Oh my god. What? No. What? Oh. No. What? There's this mold of a penis, and it's called Penis Slash Pussy Walker. MTO Clay Sculpture. My god. <laughs> I want to show you it so bad. Yeah, show it to me after the commercial break. Oh my god. And you can add Hot customization. Yeah. You can add customization. Nice. And it'll be $56 instead of $46. I don't want to get this for you for Christmas. Hell yeah. That should be very funny. That's hilarious. I'm so happy with my walkers. Perfect addition to the bookshelf. Literally the coolest pussy walker of all the pussy walkers to exist. Pussywalker.net. That reminds me of all like the yaoi that they advertise on Book Walker. If you followed any anime YouTubers back in like 2018. This is the. Oh my God! There's another one. There's another peanut mini baby, mini baby penis pussy walker pendant. I am scared. What is a pussy walker? What does this mean? I hell if I fucking know. I'm, Flesh, I'm, a, I'm the pussy. I'm the clit whisperer, dude. Flesh slugworm minis. I'm pretty sure that's from the Jay and Silent Bob movie. I'm, I'm the clit whisperer. I don't think I don't think that's him, my guy. Oh wait, no. He said he's the clit master. Oh, it's lavender leaf. If any of you listeners wanna wanna get one of these, there's also cute penis earrings. Don't sexualize my cute penis earrings. <laughs> I mean, people have been wearing vibrator earrings. Don't sexualize my vibrator earrings. Oh no, what's happening to my to my to my little oh man? Maniac out on the floor. He's a maniac. Maniac. Oh no. Yeehaw. I'm a mega chad, giga chad. Do you ever think about eating your- If you have to say you're a chad, you're not really a chad. Do you ever think about eating your penis? Um... Nah. Because I think about eating penis, just not mine. Yeah, that's right. No, I don't know. Um... I don't know. The things you see on the old internet back in like 2009. Halloween 2020. Good, 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 good. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's rock. Oh, God. I hope the zombies take longer to show up.
Out on the floor. Out on the floor. He's a maniac, maniac out on the floor. Floor Delise nuts. He's going Shoot. to prison because he decided to say floor these nuts. Floor these apostles of Christ, you know what I'm saying? He's an aniac, aniac. Yo, they hate us because they ain't us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Stephan? Oh, my God, my cat's attacking a person. Oh, my God. It's gonna get put down. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you leave me. It's gonna get put down. You look awful today. Oh, man. That puts me down. No need to be such a bee. Going buzz buzz. You know, bees are scary. You know the thing about bees is it's like, unless it's like an outright bumblebee. I don't know, there's there's like nothing I hear about bees that like makes them very like appealing, but like they're fine. Because they do what they do. Um, because I'm not like, an, I'm not an ichthyologist, so I don't know like the difference that, wait no, is that for fish? I have no idea. What what's the one for bugs? So um, I don't study bugs, and I don't I can't tell you. Bugologist. A bugologist. No, that's the study on how to annoy me. <laughs> no, but like um um bugologist, whatever. Friggin' like I don't I, I'm not good at like identifying bugs. Like I'm not like ah uh, yes, the stripes on its back indicate that it's not poisonous. In fact, I was on r slash spiders. And people were like, someone had taken a picture of like some sort of tarantula, and the tarantula had a red hourglass on its back. And then they compared it to like this like other like spider that was obviously a black widow. And they're like, hey, what's going on here? Why does this guy also have like a red hourglass? And they were like, yeah, that's just like a weird evolutionary mechanic. That dude on the left is not like poisonous at all. It's just like a pseudo thing. And it's like, oh, okay, fair. Um, but uh. What's funny is, like, just the fact that they get, like, this close to the bugs, you know? Like, I could never get that close. Um, like, if I if I think there's any sort of, you know, issue, I'm not going to get up close and personal. Um, but it, it is interesting because uh, bees... Cause there's, there's always different types, right? There's, like, sweat bee, honey bee, bubble bee, you know, yellow jacket. Um, all, all these things. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, like, every other bee apparently is known to be, like, particularly aggressive or something, except for the bumblebee, but then the bumblebee has the hardest sting, so I'm like, well, goddamn, I don't want to, like, get up and close to it on accident. Didn't you have an issue with a bee where you, like, thought it was a fly and you swatted it and then it was like, oh, uh, well, fuck you too, and then it, like, stung you? <laughs> yeah, it did. It stung my middle finger. Because I thought oh, it was a fly. Karma. Yeah. I thought it was a fly because it was buzzing like a fly, and I didn't know what a bee sounded like. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it's a fly, and I hit it against my hand, and it, like, stung me in my, like, middle finger. And yeah. I was like, oh, no, I killed a bee. That's kind of sad. Yeah, wow. What is of the night? Beating I'm on my ass. home a baby bumblebee. I like, you ever notice that we get along with the predators of other, like, species? Or, you know, like, walks of special differentiation? Because, like, we like spiders because we're like, oh, spiders are going to eat the other bugs, right? Um, because spiders are, like, carnivorous, they, they don't want to fuck with my plants. They want to eat the bugs that will eat the plants. Good. Hey, dogs are really cool because they, like, ward off, like, other animals that would, like, eat my wheat farm. I'm going to get a dog or, or you know... And it'll scare away, like, the birds and shit that, like, peck at my corn, you know? But if, like, we love fucking, like, carnivorous predatory animals because they, they make good, like, pets and guardians of our home. But then, like, what's interesting is, like, we eat, like, herbivorous animals, 
right? Like, I was thinking about this, and it's like, people people normally are like, oh, isn't it so strange that different countries will eat, like, dog? But on the level of, like, social moray, where they're like, well, that's just, like, weird inherently to my culture. And it's like, well, yeah, but also think about it like this, right? Like, there's also, like, a logical reason, too. We eat herbivorous animals. We don't eat predatory animals. So it's weird to eat a dog, because I feel like the meat would be too lean and tough. Whereas, like, we eat, like, a fucking fat-ass sheep that's just been eating fucking corn all the time, and we're like, yeah... That's right, you slutty sheep. Yeah. Yeah. You eat that grass. Grass-fed beef. I'm an indirect I'm vegan because I always eat animals that just eat other plants. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're you're truly a carnivore if you're eating animals that eat other animals. Like, jeez. I feel like at that point it's just like weird. A little bit. Leave a comment down below to say, I'm a hoe. You're a hoe. I'm gonna eat your ass. What if I just left a pinned comment on one of my own videos, like just insulting myself? Like I just comment like, this video is stupid. And everyone would just be like, is this still him? Is Diana in his account? Diana hacked his ass.